everybody, it's the Two Wheel Troubadour, back with another episode, and today we're going on an adventure, as uh, Frodo Baggins would say, or was it Bilbo Baggins? I guess it was Bilbo that said that in the movie. I mean, they both went on adventures, but I digress. So today, we're going to go find a place called Tarpon Springs, Tarpon Springs, Florida. Now I know you guys are asking, Troubadour, why are you going to Tarpon Springs? Well, I'll tell you. Tarpon Springs has this really cool little downtown section that they call the Sponge Docks. And a lot of you who have perhaps visited Florida have probably visited Tarpon Springs Sponge Docks. Maybe even gone for a boat ride where they do a demo on how they used to uh, put the old diving suit on and dive down. I guess they were going down maybe, I don't know, not too far because it's Florida doesn't have real deep water so I don't know, it was probably 15 feet or so. And they collect, they harvest all these these real sponges, this natural sponge. And that was a that was a big industry back in uh, the late 1800s, early 1900s. Um, Probably, I want to say it was like a million dollar industry at that time. You know what? I gotta stop for gas. Won't get far without any gas, huh? So let me get some gas and then I'll tell you guys a little bit about what I know about Tarpon Springs. All right, my GPS is going crazy here. Proceed to the route. Okay, let's get some gas. Okay, so full tank of gas, we're ready to roll. I got my, uh, I put my Senna onto this helmet here. I, I had it on a different helmet. I transferred it over here, so hopefully I can hear it. This is the first time I've really messed with it on this helmet. Because I've never driven to Tarpon Springs from where I am now. So hopefully I won't get lost. But you know, I don't really mind getting lost. I know basically where I am. Take a left here, take a right there, you'll end up somewhere that you, that you recognize, right? Uh, okay, so Tarpon Springs. So, this place was a little community back in the 1800s, you know, boating. It's kind of got a series of uh, bayous and uh, that lead out to the Gulf of Mexico. And so, like around 1880, they discovered that there were, you know, quite an abundance of sponges, real sponge. And so they started harvesting these things and some people from Greece heard about it. Well, in Greece, that was a big um, industry. And so some of these Greek people came, they said, hey, you know, this would be a great place to, you know, we have the, the, sponge, in, the sponge industry and we can, uh, you know, build our homes and, and have a community and have our lives. And that's what they did. So it became quite a quite a large Greek um, immigrant community, and the sponge industry provided livelihood for for decades. Until one day, a red a red tide came and wiped out all the sponges, and uh, that pretty much did it in for the sponge industry in Tarpon Springs. Um, but the Greek people had, you know, generations there already, so they stayed there and 
just found other work to do and let's see what do I turn here and try to make their lives you know so um, I think it came back a little bit like in the 50s maybe somewhere around in there but never to where it really used to be um, now it's kind of a historic thing where you can go and you can take a boat ride and they they put on the old-fashioned diving helmets and stuff and show you how they actually go out you know like a mile into the bayou and a diver puts the helmet on and goes out into the water goes down and gets some sponges I think they're kind of like stage sponges I don't think they're really harvesting them anymore but you can still um, at the shops in Tarpon Springs there's um, you can still buy the real sponges you know so there is a small um, industry where they still harvest them and you can buy them and evidently they're supposed to be really good they're they're supposed to be really good for like washing your car they're, they're real soft and they don't scratch and anything like that um, and I guess uh, I think there's some other uses for them too but I forgot exactly what people use the real sponges for washing cars is like the one I remember <laughs> um, what else so we're going to a place, uh, you know, it's just referred to as the Sponge Docks, but it's a little strip. It's on a road called uh, Diakonisi Boulevard. Diakonisi Boulevard. I think I'm saying that right. And that was named after the Diakonisi Islands in Greece, where a lot of these sponge divers um, came from. And there's a bunch of shops here. You're like, they have, um, you know, it's one of... It's one of those places where you can go when you're visiting Florida and you can get all that like Florida kitschy stuff like shot glasses that have your name on it and it says Florida because you know you have to have one of those right um, and if you're a kid you can get those giant alligator heads everybody loves giant alligator heads especially if you're a kid you got to have a giant alligator head and you can get shells and things like that you can get the sponges and damn it so far my GPS is doing pretty good gotta crank the volume up a little bit So I've never ridden out here on my bike. I've been I've been out here numerous times. Um, one of the cool things about this particular little strip of shops and restaurants, not only just going through and seeing all the weird stuff in the shops, but um, it's got authentic Greek restaurants. So you've got um, the famous, the most famous one is right on the main strip there. It's called um, Hella's. And I remember my grandparents taking me there when I was a little kid. So this, this restaurant has been around for a long time. It's real cool. And they, you know, even the local Greek families come for dinner. I mean, it's, it's authentic Greek food. Not just uh, here have a, have a gyro or a gyro, however, however you want to say it. Like I saw, I remember this one dish this family was eating. It was like a big giant bowl of spaghetti and then piled on top of it was just a ton of uh, caramelized onions. That was a spaghetti with onions, you know. Not my thing, but they were, they were tearing it up. So... really cool place so we're gonna go down here we'll take some pictures I'll show you I don't know if I'll actually stop and walk around because I'm by myself today and I might just drive down and kind of do a run down the little strip show you what show you what the shops and everything look like and uh, head on back I just thought it'd be a cool place to go it's not it's not too far from my house so I thought it'd be a nice a nice cruise on a Saturday afternoon kind of hot today I think you know we're already what it's, it's about 
It's about one o'clock in the afternoon and we're up about 92 right now. 92 Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is Celsius, but um, pretty high humidity too. So I'm, even though I'm moving right now at 50 miles an hour, I'm already working up a sweat. Hopefully I don't get rained out today. I wanted to get an earlier start, but you know how that goes. It's Saturday, I was drinking coffee, and then I transferred my Senna from one helmet to this one, and yada, yada, yada. Next thing I know, it's one o'clock. Oh well. Peak, uh, almost peak monsoon hour. But it's kind of drying up lately, so maybe if, um, I'm lucky we can get through this ride without any big downpours. Nothing else much going on. Oh, yeah, I am really looking forward to, um, so I signed up for this year's uh, Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. That's a charity event, for those of you who aren't familiar with it. Um, it raises money for men's prostate cancer research and also for men's mental health. They say that a uh, man commits suicide every minute. Once every minute a man commits suicide, which is just tragic. So this helps raise money for that research and prevention and also um, uh, prostate cancer research and prevention. So it's, it's a great cause. And what they do is they get people with, um, you know, cool motorcycles. They do restrict it. They just don't let every motorcycle on. You kind of have, they, ha they have categories of what they allow. Because um, they're kind of going for this whole look, this distinguished gentleman. It's kind of like this, uh, this retro vintage throwback thing where, where people would dress up to go ride their motorcycles, you know, kind of a old 20s and 30s, 40s kind of kind of deal. So we're gonna put on, a, you know, a suit and a tie and jump on the bikes and go for a ride around Tampa Bay. So right now, I think we're, you know, we're about 40 days out from this thing. It's it's at the end of September and. They've already got 80 people signed up for this ride, so it should be a good turnout. Really looking forward to that. And of course, I'll, you know, I'll vlog it. We can see all the cool bikes and places to go around Florida. Oh, I, hope my, I hope my camera's on. I hate talking on this thing when it's off. You get home and you're like, son of a gun. another uh, I don't know another 20 minutes or so so I'm gonna go ahead and shut the video down and um, we'll pick it back up once I'm on one once I'm at the sponge dock so we'll see you in a bit so we're getting close I've never been in this little section here this is like a little downtown section this is probably downtown Tarpon Springs right here. Yeah, I've actually never been through here before. Old little town. Pretty cool. Little Main Street. Sponge docks. We're getting close. We're getting close. So when I got to the sponge docks, I stopped and I checked my camera and my SD card was full and I didn't bring it back up. So that ended my motovlog for the day. I did, I pulled out my camera and I took um, 
some photos just so we could have some, you know, some closure to this to this ride. But um, just a just a quick minute of the surroundings there. This statue here is a commer commemorative statue um, of the Spongers. It has a plaque on it. It says in memory of the Spongers of Tarpon Springs. It's pretty cool. Nice photo op there. Um, behind it, you'll see a, an original boat that they preserved. Um, that's what they would have used back in the turn of the century. And this is the main canal that goes right along the uh, Dada Canisi Avenue where all the shops and the restaurants are. It's pretty cool. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice touristy spot, different from your, you know, your, like your Orlando Disney kind of things. But here, if you look in the back of this boat, you'll see a big bundle of uh, the sponges. So it looks like those are actually sponges that they die for. It's pretty cool. So I hope you like what you saw today. And um, if you did, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And we've got some more destination videos coming up. Got some more things planned. So. So come ride along with me on another adventure soon on the Two-Wheel Troubadour. See you guys.